Today's Ask Me Anything goes out to Puppy Love. My one-year-old German Shepherd pulls on a leash, lunges at other dogs while on a leash. I live in the UK where choke chains, etc., are looked down upon. People are judgmental when they see them. They think they're cruel. Um, I'm starting to be more firm, but corrections are ignored with this flat collar on. Of course they're ignored with the flat collar on because the flat collar is torture on the dog, and the dog can't understand where he should be going with these pulling against it. So put a pinch collar on the dog, put a choke chain on the dog, and give the dog a fair correction that will correct him into the direction of doing what you want him to do, which is not jumping. He's not going to do that on the flat collar. You're going to just be horribly deteriorate your relationship with the dog. And to all these countries and all these people who are so against using a slightly aversive technique in training a dog, you've got to get your heads out of your asses because you're, you're failing these dogs miserably. And anytime we take away a tool that can be used properly to help a dog, we're hurting dogs and we're ending them, to, ending them up to be put in shelters and be killed. Because when the, when the positive only method doesn't work and we need to go to an aversive method and that method is taken away, then the dog suffers. The dog suffers in... in, in, in so much it's it, it really upsets me because what happens is positive only people will refuse to open their eyes and to look at the option that some other tools might work better than putting a dog down if the dog doesn't respond to the positive method which i think you should start with always 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 start with a toy and a treat and if it doesn't work from there you may need to up the ante a little bit it's like if you go to a doctor and he tells you to take two aspirin and that doesn't work and you end up having cancer and he tells you, well, we can't cut you open because that's cruel, it's bullshit. You're ending up failing these dogs. So if an aversive method needs to be used to help a dog, you must use it. We must have that option available. And if you have to hide it and you have to do it in the back alley or something, you have to save your dog. Got a question? Ask me anything.